Salute, salute. Salute to God, the most high, the creator of everything. Salute to all the new subscribers. Shanquita, thank you for subscribing. It's a blessing to have you aboard. Um, listen, trolls. Only God and your mama can love you. And you know, everyone, please, as you come in, it's like wiping your feet on the doormat before you come in. Please hit that like button. Let YouTube know that we're working, okay? You may not even like my videos. Just like the fact that I'm out here creating content. I'm, 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 I'm doing God's work. Hit that thumbs up. It's very important. And uh, last but not least, last but not least, certainly last but not least. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. One time. Yeah, yeah. I say one time. Yeah. I say one time. One time for the Uncut Squad, one time for the Get The Family, one time for Big Bro's Backup, one time for Big Bro's Corner, one time for G.O.D. God Almighty, the Savior, y'all. You know what I'm saying? And two salutes to the most high, the real MVP. All right, here we go. Since y'all don't like listening to me when I say conscious things to you regarding religion and, you know, the proper etiquette of religious leaders... You know, I found a pastor who is basically saying everything that I think I have been saying. So with no further ado, it's time to go to church. Y'all, go to Biblical Posts, Biblical Posts on YouTube and click, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. I am like 900 and 984 on the channel. I can't even talk. I'm so excited because... Man, listen, it's Pastor Smoke them. It's Pastor Smoke them. Pastor Gino Jennings calls out T.D. Jakes. Mm, mm, mm. Let's get into it. YouTube. Okay, now, I want you to understand that educational purposes. All right, educational purposes. Here we go. Hey, man, I got a television interview coming up this week. <laughs> yeah, man, and I know what he want to talk about. I know you want me to talk about T.D. Snakes, but it's more going on in the world than that. That's right. Eh? That's right. Only thing I can do is uh, testify to what I see. I speak that which I know. What you see. Okay, man? And I testify to what I see. What you see. All, the, all that other stuff that he's accused of, I don't know nothing about. Right. I, I don't know whether he was doing the sloppy toppy. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> That's right. I don't know that. You don't know that. I don't know nothing about that. <laughs> I don't know that. That's right. I don't know. <laughs> Amen. I don't know who he was playing. It's the Lord of Pastor Chino Jennings, man. <laughs> Salute to Pastor Gino Genius, man. Hey, let's get it. I don't know. That's right. I know none of that. Right. But one thing I do know, I do know. <laughs> he can't that stop laughing. He was at Diddy's party because he was dumb enough. They videotaped him with shorts on, <clears throat> dancing, and his family dancing. That's right. Ah, oh, so his family was present. Okay, see, these are more than allegations, but I'm wait for it. Let's go, Pastor Gino Jennings. He took a picture with Diddy. Diddy laid his hand, his head on him. My Lord. He did a sign language with Diddy. My Lord. He sat there at the table with a champagne glass there. Mm. So all I can do is speak what I know. What you know? All that other stuff. I heard he he said that. He's 68 years old. He's too old to be a freak. Brother, that's a lie. That's a lie. Am I right, man? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Go and take a cross. That's a lie. That's a lie. <laughs> Go and take a <laughs> Jakes, I want you to hear this. Amen. That's just a bold-faced lie. That's bold right. Bold-faced lie. I'm 68. Tell a lie. Young. This is why I like Pastor Gino Jennings, because he's scriptural, yes, but <laughs> he knows 
the Bible back and forth. Now watch how he's going to break this down. Now it was funny hearing him say, you're not too old at 68 to be a freak. But listen to what is about to follow. He's brilliant. That's and right. that's not too old to be a freak. Oh, come on, commercial. We're not going to do that. That's not too old. That's not too old. That's not too old. Okay. Let's go commercial. Let's go commercial. That's not too old. That's not too old. And here we go. Free. No. Anytime in the Bible. That's right. They are making babies at 300. Yeah. 400. 500. 600. That's right. 700. And they're making babies. Making babies. Man, 68 years old. You ain't nothing but a baby compared to them in the Bible. That's right. So you're not too old. No. To be a freak. No, no. <laughs> no way. That's a lie out of hell. That's right. Get him. And I Get him. Talk. Amen. Talk back to me. Amen. 68 years old. You too old, man. That's one of the biggest lies. Among your other lies. Among mm. other lies. Yeah, be good. I'm going to make it so plain. You. Now, this is a pastor straightening another pastor, or as we would say in the hood, beefing with. All right? We have gangs that beef with each other. Okay, well, maybe rivalry is a better word to use. Okay? Let's go with the word rivalries. You know? Let's go with the word... um competition all right but they're going at each other and it's funny because we have gangs that go after each other we have rival football games we have rival basketball games you know there's always it's intriguing to me that this thing has cooked up so much to where you've got pastors going in on other pastors and all of them are on the same board imagine this this is like okay like we support the tampa bay buccaneers you know we support the dolphins shout out to the dolphins you know this is like the tampa bay buccaneers whole entire locker room beefing amongst each other you know this is like your favorite football team this is like your family Rivaling against one another. Imagine this. Ima it's cooked up this bad, but let's get back to it. We have to get angry. That's right. That's right. Like I said to the church the other day, that the Black Caucus of Ministers wrote me three letters. They wanted to make sure I get it, so they sent three big letters to the church with about three or four pages of a petition signed by so many preachers in the country mm -hmm. to mediate, to have a meeting. Want to mediate between me and Jake the Snake. <laughs> I started to tear the letters up, mm -hmm. but I said, no. <laughs> now I'm going to use this time. I'm letting this play out. This is going to be a little lengthy video because He's going to say something very important, and I know when he's going to say it, but just hold your focus. Hold your focus. Allow the spirit to fine tune you to listen, okay? Because he's going to say something very vital that everyone needs to hear. Everyone. So when I tell you it's something that I've been saying for the longest, I finally heard a pastor say it, and of course I'm going to Q in on it. So let's ride with Pastor Geno Jennings. If they're serious about coming to the table, right. I'm going to use this time, bring our ministers, some of our brothers, and we're going to strike this out with scripture. That's right. That's, that's, that's what we want to do. That's right. We want to strike this out with scripture. Amen. Prove the fact. That the church can coexist mm -hmm. with homosexuality. Right. Prove it. Prove it. 
It's the word. It's the word. You know, you got to stand on it. It's the word. You got to stand on it. You got to stand on it. It's the word. This man is speaking, y'all. He's speaking. And I'm not here to offend anybody. Live your life. We all have to answer accordingly for what we do. Okay? So I'm not here to offend anybody. But this brother is speaking. He's speaking, y'all. He's speaking. And I really want y'all to hear what he's going to say at a certain mark. is evolving towards wow. homosexuality. My lord, my lord. And these are words that T.D. Jakes has spoken, okay? I played it for you. His interview with Mark Lamont Hill, he said it then. And I told you it was kind of um suspicious because his son had just came out in 2009. Both of his sons, which are not his biological sons, but both of his sons are members and known members of the LBG, LBGTQ plus some other stuff community. Okay, so y'all listen. He said some churches have their theory, uh, others have their theory. He said, I'm evolving. I'm not. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Until God evolved, ain't never evolved. That's right. He made the woman for the man. For the man. That's it. I will never evolve from that. That's right. That's right. All right, listen. That's right. I agree with him. I agree with him. I, I got to have my baby next to me, and she know it. She, she know it. So I agree with him because she was made for me. I agree with him. I can't imagine my life without her. So I definitely agree. Shout out to my baby. Shout out to Mrs. Uncut. I definitely agree. Amen. So I started to tie the letters up, but I changed my mind. I talked to Dan early in the week. I said, yeah, call him. Mm -hmm. let's, let's come to the table. Let's, let's strike this out with Bible. That's right. I mean, if the black caucus get wrong, and I'll get a hold of them with the Bible. That's right. I don't care who you are. Do y'all notice that he's standing on the word? He's standing on the word, and he just said, I don't care who you are. That is standing on the word. It's standing on it. You're not here to pacify the word. You're not here to... How can I put this? To... Like he said, evolve. You're not here to evolve God's word. God's word is God's word. John 1 and 1. I, I say this all the time. He's standing on it, and I respect that about him. I respect that. Let's listen. Pastor Tennis don't care what degrees you hold. I don't care what college you went to. Right. I don't care how popular you are. That's right. Anybody from the Black Caucus side with homosexuality, I take God's word and do asunder like anybody else. That's right. I say, I say, I say. Let's Amen. go. Let's go. You get what I'm talking? Amen. <coughs> Stand on it, Pastor. Let's go. I often think of the scripture where the Lord asks the question, who will stand up for me? Stand who will stand up for me? Yeah, come on. Stand on it. Somebody in the earth, hallelujah, had to stand up for God. That's right. Somebody. Because these pastors ain't doing it. Who's not? This brother speaking. Somebody got to stand up for God because these religious leaders aren't doing it. Look at the stuff we're seeing in the church now. It's almost like the church house has turned into the devil's playground. Okay? We have bishops marrying bishops and introducing their husbands. Men introducing their husbands while they are bishops of a church. The homosexuality, the thievery, the scamming, the lies, the psychology, the misrepresentation, the secular music. I mean, come on. Come on, we're seeing it all in the church. This brother is speaking. Traded by money and 
popularity and notoriety, but just stand up That's right. flat footed for God. That's right. Go ahead. You brother. preachers are an embarrassment. Yes. Oh, yeah. You are a disgrace to God's word. That's disgrace. Right. You, your wives, and everything else. Everything else. Run that back. Have no respect for God, and you just play church. We're playing. Play church. And the followers been participating in this Sesame Street virgin of church That's for right. so long. Listen, because he's getting there. Listen very close, really close, because he's about to key in on my key point. And thank you for rocking with me this long. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that subscribe button. Once again, hit that subscribe button. That's right. Until they accept it as God's anointing. That's right. Sesame Seed, virgin of church, got Big Bird for bishops and Grover for elders and amen, snuffling <laughs> up against four deacons. <laughs> That's right. And Get him faster, Gino Jim. on the mother's board. Amen. He said, hey, you got Oscar out the trash can on the mother's board. Boy, I know lots of churches got them Oscars out there, boy. Got them Oscars. Yeah. And we ain't talking about no war winners either. We talk about the Oscars at the trash can. Let's go. Amen. What did the Jew tell us? For there are certain men crept in unawares. Glory to God, they crept in unawares. Who were before of old ordained to this condemnation. They was ordained to this common condemnation, ungodly men. Turning the grace of our God into lasciviousness. When that man turned his church into a club that didn't brag about it. Brag about it. So-called gospel artists. He's talking about the pastor who had everybody walking it out and had everybody swag surfing. The same pastor who was playing Meg the Stallion, uh, I'm a Savage. You know, I believe that was Pastor William Murphy. I believe that was Pastor William Murphy. Okay, y'all can go look all this stuff up. I'm pretty sure it was Pastor William Murphy. I like how he's addressing this stuff. I like this. Just dance it. That's right. Like they dancing for God, you're dancing for the devil. Say that. That's right. That's right. Let's go. When you're dancing in the spirit, you ain't dancing like the street. No. Hmm. Come on. Holy dance. Amen. Dancing in the street at a club. Don't be that big of a fool. It's no. not the same. No, man. Mm -hmm. Do you hear this? Now in the book of St. Matthew, chapter 6 and verse 24. What is it? No man can serve two masters. What? No man can serve two masters. Can not. Amen. Can't no do man it. can't do it. No can't man. Serve no two. man can serve two masters. Two masters. For either he will hate the he one, will hate hate one, one and love the other. And it's proven. That's right. It's proven. He will hate one and love the other. Or else he will hold to or the he one. will hold to one. And despise the other. And reject the other. And as you look at the choices that religion has made, they decide to hold on to Satan. That's right. That's right. And that is my point. Right there. Notice his terminology. Notice his terminology. The church and religion holding on to Satan. It's all about being spiritual. Kings and queens, brothers and sisters. It's time for God to restore his identity. To restore his word. To redeem his people. To redeem and, and, and detoxify his pulpit, okay? And you're not going to get there. Many of us are not going to get there following other human beings. I am not here to tear down T.D. Jakes. This doesn't even surprise me. It doesn't surprise me any of these pastors because they're human. They're human. I'm trying to get everyone else to realize they're human. Follow God. He is of the spirit. He is of the spirit. It is one thing to be religious. It is one thing to be spiritual. Because no one can be religious 24-7. But whether you like it or not, once God's spirit is upon you, you're always going to be that spiritual being made in the image and the likeness of God himself. Genesis 1:26, people. We've got to get for real with this thing, and we've got to stand on something. And I love the way that he's addressing this. I love the way that he's addressing this without being too condescending.
he was comical. So with that being said, y'all get y'all one-on-one. Get y'all one-on-one. Get y'all one-on-one with the higher power, the only God, the true God. You know, get your one-on-one with the Savior, man. We can't keep following these so-called men of God and these religious leaders thinking that they're going to lead us to the kingdom. They're not. I just heard another bishop say today that he died and went to heaven and came back. I'm going to do a video on it. We can't keep listening to this. You've got to know the word in order to know when the word is being used against you. Let me say that one more time. You've got to know the word in order to know when the word is being used against you. Y'all stay prayed up, stay meditated up, stay blessed up, stay protected, stay real, stay woke, stay uncut, be inspired, be great, and be you. Ashe, link will be in the description box to this video.